Hi, my name is uh, Dirk Arts. I'm the uh, CEO and founder of uh, Castro EC, and we recently attended the uh, FAIR hackathon in, uh, in Leiden. And uh, we had a lot of fun there, so I want to take a few minutes to tell you about uh, Castro EC and about uh, what we did at the uh, hackathon. Um, for starters, I'm an uh, I'm MD and researcher myself. And the reason I'm not attending here in person is because tomorrow I have my uh, PhD defense. So uh, exciting times for me. And I decided to, to take some time to prepare for, for the big day and to send you this, uh, this video instead. Um, so um, the reason I started Kester four years ago is to make sure that every researcher worldwide has access to uh, an easy to use and affordable uh, data capture system. Um, because I feel that the only way uh, we can you know, start rapidly improving uh, medical research and accelerating medical research is if we capture all the data uh, that's available worldwide and not just the data of you know, high profile trials or you know, trials with big budgets. Um, so what we're trying to do is um, you know, create a system, create a platform that you know, any researcher, regardless of budget or programming experience, uh, can, can use and afford. And we've been pretty successful. Um, we've got about 5,400 users in the system right now, about 1,200 uh, studies, more or less. And uh, you know, we've just got you know, many, many people and researchers building studies in our system. And um, I think that's you know the big difference between us and many of our uh, you know uh, fellow players in the market. Um, researchers build studies themselves, and you know they don't need anything to access the system. They can just you know go to the website and start building, and that means that there's a really low threshold to get to get started. Um, so that's why we have so many studies, and you know a lot of data being gathered in in the platform. And um, over the years, I've been more and more concerned with the quality of the data and the reusability of the data. So I was really, dis you know, really happy to discover um, the, the fair principles and discover all the plans regarding the, the uh, European Open Science Cloud. And we've really made it into one of our main, main goals for the next few years to uh, be one of the most important you know, pioneering players in this, uh, in this field. And that means, of course, um, having a system in which fair data can be uh, created, uh, but also um, you know, shared, obviously. Um, so, yeah, we were really pleased to attend the, the hackathon. I brought my, uh, my, my CTO with me, uh, and uh, you know, we, uh, we spent three days implementing the, the fair principles into Castor. Um, so what we managed to do, I took the liberty of printing out Louise's slides. So actually we built all these metadata layers in, uh, in Castor. So we had an existing API that's in, in beta, but it's working uh, quite well. And we expanded the API with these API calls. So we have an uh, FD, FDP, Fair Data Point uh, API endpoint now. And you can go uh, through you know, to the, the, the FDP uh, endpoint, then you can go to the catalog uh, endpoint and uh, then to the data sets. And I think that's where, you know, Castor and, and FAIR really start to shine because we have so many studies in our system. Uh, just having uh, the Castor FAIR data point up means that, you know, lots of uh, interesting clinical data becomes available for, uh, you know, for the FAIR community. Um, so we also managed to actually implement uh, an RDF endpoint. Um, so you could, with, with, you know, with the right tool, you could go over all these API endpoints and end up at the uh, RDF distribution, the RDF uh, download distribution, and um, that led to this awesome, uh, awesome file. You probably can't read it, although it's not really necessary, but um, what you see here is, is an RDF representation of a simple uh, Castor database that we set up. And um, actually, you know, most of the time went into modeling the semantic model behind this. Um, so the semantic modeling was uh, was a bit of a challenge, a really interesting process, and I really feel that uh, that is an area where we can, uh, you know, improve a lot, but also contribute a lot as Castor, uh, because we feel that uh, every study in the world should be fair. And um, not just you know the studies that have lots of funding to to pay for for a fair data steward, for instance. Um, so we are going to work really hard with uh, the team of DTLS and hopefully uh, some other partners to 
um, create an infrastructure and create a platform where researchers can you know, create these semantic models themselves. Uh, so they actually create FAIR data at the source and we hope to create uh, you know, a scalable FAIR implementation uh, through that so that researchers in, in Africa and Southern America in, in Asia uh, and of course you know, Europe uh, can all you know, start defining their studies and actually in the background have you know, a semantic model representing their own data model that can be used to create, you know, create FAIR data. Uh, but you know, as, as I think has been discussed before, just having the FAIR data points that you know, provides access to a CSV download, for instance, will be uh, you know, a big improvement and that's something we could easily do in the short term. But I really think we should work together and see you know, if we could work towards that um, you know, user-created scalable FAIR. Uh, I think that will be the key to, uh, to the success because I think as soon as researchers start to see the potential of uh, FAIR in, for instance, uh, something like the European Open Science Cloud, that will uh, make a really big difference in their attitudes towards sharing data. Um, so I think they will quite quickly start to see the potential and the, the immense saving that having you know, a standardized uh, data set available can uh, uh, sort of uh, you know, make. So um, I think we should just push forward, uh, collaborate, uh, work on this scalable fair and I think just showing the world how awesome it is and how useful it can be is a very important first step. Um, so we are going to uh, work together with you know, DTLS and the other partners uh, a lot in the next year and we've also acquired some, um, or actually tried to apply for some, some grants and some funding um, to be able to put some more effort into this uh, initiative and we really hope that uh, the other you know, people present uh, today um, you know, want to join forces and, uh, and really start making all that valuable uh, clinical medical data uh, available to, uh, to the world. So uh, thank you very much for, uh, for listening to this uh, short video. Um, I think we will uh, meet soon at the other venues I will also be attending, uh, for instance the, uh, uh, the, the uh, conferences on the personal health train for instance. Uh, so uh, we might be able to meet there. Otherwise, just reach out to the people at DTLS and they can, uh, can put you in touch. If you want to uh, discuss something regarding Castor or, or our, our FAIR um, metadata endpoints, um, so feel free to reach out. I'd love to discuss uh, these topics with you. And uh, thanks again. Bye.